things have been feeling weird lately. I'm not as motivated as usual. I feel kind of bored with life. My anxiety has been worse than usual. And there have been a few days this week where I just laid in bed for like a few hours and I just don't feel super happy with life at the moment. I don't know if I should blame it on the weather, the time of year, or where I live, but either way, I need to try to make the most of it. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you what I do when I'm in a slump, a funk, a rut and how I get out of it not even just like a reset day where I'm doing a bunch of cleaning and productive things but like a reconnect with myself day where I re-spark some creativity nurture my body and mind so that I can get myself to the point where I'm in a good position to be productive to start things off I'm gonna get dressed to go on a walk I'm gonna drive to a path by my house and go for a walk there because I like that better than just going around my neighborhood and even though sometimes I get a little bit scared going just because I'm by myself it makes me anxious I want to do it today. I'm gonna to bring my dogs with me even though they're like 10 pounds each. They will bark <laughs> if someone tries to snatch me, hopefully. <laughs> That workout was hard, honestly, but I just finished. My walk was super nice. I walked down by the river the whole time. I feel like though, if you've been in like a slump or like a depressive episode or you just haven't been doing super well recently, it can be hard to even motivate yourself enough to like do a workout or to go for a walk. And I totally feel that. Like sometimes I just absolutely do not feel like doing it. But usually when I push myself, it honestly makes me feel so much better every time. Even if I have such like low energy, if I go for a walk or do a workout or something, I feel like way more energized afterwards even though people always say that and I'm like okay yeah like sure working out gives you energy it actually does <laughs> so I don't know it can be hard sometimes to like start and to do it but I've been really making a habit out of doing this every day and it's at least something that can kind of like pick me up in the middle of the day and it's obviously good for you like both your body and mind so really worth it
I want to continue trying to do things that are like fun and that make me feel creative and one other thing I've been doing to help myself feel better is just listening to a lot of music it's like a good kind of happy music I've been listening to my high vibe playlist and also this feel good indie rock playlist which just gets you going in the morning like this sounds really silly but I used to do this when I was in college and I'd be like waking up early for classes in the morning and I'd be trying to get myself excited about going to class and kind of try to romanticize it the best I could I would put on like happy music like that and just like dance around my room as I was getting ready I don't know it's just it's kind of fun and it just makes you feel like your life is a movie so I want to do some things today that I don't usually do but that I enjoy doing I feel like sometimes it's easy even if you have a certain hobby or something you really like to doing it's like easy to push it aside and say that you don't have time and that's how I feel about a lot of the things that I like doing one of those things is baking I love baking it's really fun it's honestly super therapeutic and I want to bake something I already know what I want to make <laughs> they're these cookies so let's go do that also look we got a new tea kettle I'm excited it looks cute and oh my gosh look at these flowers I got last night they literally make me so happy like it's unreal how happy flowers <laughs> make me if you're feeling depressed, honestly, just go buy some flowers from the grocery store because looking at these makes me just like, life is worth living when I look at those flowers. <laughs> One thing that I love doing that just like makes the experience of baking better, in my opinion, is putting on a movie while I bake. In the fall, I did this like watching Twilight while I made like pumpkin muffins and it was so vibey and cute and very enjoyable. So I'm gonna put on a little movie. I'm already in the middle of watching this movie through my window three because I watched the first two and they're good. So that's what I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna start baking. These are the prettiest cookies I feel like I've ever seen. They're like absolutely beautiful and they taste amazing as well. So they're so cute. Oh my God. It's also almost 60 degrees today, which is so exciting, except there's like tornado predictions for tomorrow. It was very cold yesterday and it's like really warm today. I can see why there would be tornado predictions. So that's kind of scary, but I've been enjoying the day and like sitting outside. It's absolutely beautiful out. It honestly felt like summer. I went outside and I was like, I could be like laying in my bathing suit right now, tanning. <laughs>
It's a little bit later in the day now. I'm about to have some time where I just chill in my room. Honestly, some days I'm just like working or I'm doing things on my computer super late at night to where I don't carve out time at night to let myself decompress. Something I did when I was away at school was no matter where I was in my work or homework or whatever, I would stop at nine o'clock and from like nine to 10, I would take a shower, I would journal, I would dry brush, I would do skincare, I would read and go to bed at 10. And it was like the best thing ever because every single night I just had that time to like let myself chill decompress it was so important to have that but lately i feel like i haven't necessarily been doing that like i work or i'm doing stuff right up until like 10 o'clock where i kind of want to start getting ready for bed and not having that separation makes things more difficult and i feel like it just doesn't let me have i don't know like enough me time so i'm gonna do that tonight i made a cup of tea as i always do i've just been loving this tea and i've been drinking like four cups a day of it <laughs> and i made my room cozy i've always talked about how important it is to have a room that you love and a room that is like a reflection of you and that makes you happy and that makes you feel good and as i've been reading atomic habits lately like it talks a lot about your environment and how your environment is such a big dictator in your habits in like your life the things that you end up doing the way that you feel and it kind of just solidified for me like yeah this is why it's so important to me to have like a nice room and this is why it makes such a big difference like when i create these spaces for myself to journal and i have candles like out that i can easily light it makes me more inclined to do those things every single day and i feel like that just like i said solidified for me why it's so important and like it gave me i guess the explanation because i've been saying this i feel like i've been preaching this for forever i remember even when i was going to move in to like my first apartment and stuff and i was planning out everything even though i was like only going to be there for a semester and then some people would say like you're kind of going a little crazy with this like it's just your college apartment it's not that big of a deal it's not like you're permanently living there and i was just planning out everything where i was going to put everything like how i was going to decorate it and yeah they would say like this is a little extra. I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. And I'm glad that I did that because I was there every single day for six months or whatever, you know, like it, even though it's a temporary thing, it was a big part of my life and I was spending every single day there and it has a huge impact on you and the way that you live your life. That's why I love having a cute room that I love. And that's why it's so important and not just to like for funsies, but like it has a good reason and a good impact on your life. And the next thing I want to do is journal. I know I talk about it all the time. I want to do some shadow work journal prompts because I feel like this video is kind of about reconnecting with myself, like healing, getting out of a slump, that sort of thing. If you don't really know what shadow work is, it's kind of just like digging up old things and like working through them. So like this is shadow work journal prompts for healing. What made me start doubting myself as a kid? What aspects of my life do I project onto others in an unhealthy way? What is something my younger self would be surprised about now who hurt me the most and can i forgive them so it's doing like work on yourself like work in reflecting on your personality your traits maybe why you came to be the way that you are and like healing from it so i'm gonna pick one of these and journal about it and i urge you to do the same and it can just like allow you to move on from things that you're maybe stuck on so if you have something in your life like maybe somebody wronged you and you never got an apology and you're never going to get one or like you've been hurt by someone or something happened to you that that's kind of tricky for you to move on from but you need to i feel like fine Find something like that in your life and write about it write about what happened how it makes you feel how you think you can move forward from it like what you think you can do to kind of get yourself past it and maybe if it's like a person that wronged you or something you could write like what you'd want to say to the person and then just like once it's down on the paper out of your mind just let it go like that's all energy you have to spend on it and then you're free from it now
just like uses a part of my brain that is not normally being triggered and my forearm hurts from pressing down the strings the last thing i want to do to kind of get myself on track and have a productive day tomorrow is make a to-do list because they always make me so much more productive i honestly also love making to-do lists at night because that way i can kind of go to sleep without having the burden and the mental load of having to remember all the things i need to do tomorrow and also when i wake up in the morning i'm not immediately like oh my god i need to do this 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 i already have it written down i know i'm gonna be like good i have it planned out and it just makes me feel so much better it makes the day smoother i already wrote out what i need to do but i need to edit a youtube video and also post a youtube video i also want to edit and post a tiktok so i've been trying to post on tiktok more i need to cook and do my meal prep for the week and i also need to take a shower and wash my hair it's gonna be a busy day i have like a lot going on this week i'm meeting with a cpa like an accountant to help me with my tax stuff i've always just done my taxes myself but this year it's a little bit more complicated for me so i'm meeting with the tax person and i have a lot to do to prepare for it and i'm really not looking forward to it but i need to basically dig up a bunch of receipts and stuff <laughs> anyways Comment this emoji if you watched all the way up until this point and hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.